Hi everyone, this is Ryan Collins here, bringing you another video. You can find contact information for me at ryanmcollins.com, and you can find more information about The Perfect Project at perfect.org, including documentation and how to get involved. So what I wanted to show you in this video today is, is how to host web content with Perfect. In my last video, we went over how to make a quick custom handler to just get, a, um, get the route and just serve a quick little you know, append body, hello perfect, which is great, but let's, let's actually go through how we're going to really set up a project to develop a website in Xcode with perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up here. We're going to create a new project folder and we're going to call this perfect landing and we'll call this perfect.org page. Now, now let's call it perfect lander. That, that works best for me. I'm going to pull up my web browser. I'm at perfect.org. I'm just going to click that little GitHub icon, go over here into releases. We're going to grab version 1.0 to work with, just so we're all working with the same thing. Uh, there's been a lot of changes recently with Swift 3 and the Swift Package Manager and a lot of things coming into there. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract that. And then I'm going to move that right there onto the desktop. So now we've got our project. I can go ahead and get Xcode fired up here. We can, uh, whoops, don't need my terminal window just yet, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and go into File, New, and Workspace, or Command Control New if you prefer. We will call this lander.xcode workspace. I'm going to save it inside our perfect lander folder. I'm going to cinch up the window just a little bit to make sure I can fit it all in this video. Uh, just like any time we set up perfect, just like in the last video, and I will go through this again, we're going to go file, uh, add files to lander. I'm going to use command option A, it's a little faster. Uh, I'm just going to go up here to the desktop, go into perfect, and I'm going to grab the library, and I'm going to grab the server, and I'm going to highlight library project, hold command, highlight the perfect server project, so they're both highlighted. We're going to hit options. We're going to make sure copy is unchecked and create folder references. And the reason you want to do that is because once you clone perfect with, with Git and you're, you're managing one repository for perfect and you have many projects, you, you don't want to manage many, many perfect Git repositories. You'd rather just have links to those resources inside the Xcode. All right, so to get our project working, we're going to go ahead and um, do Command Shift N or File New Project. I'm going to go into OSX Framework and Library, Coco Framework, and we're just going to call this Lander. That is fine. Swift include unit test is perfect. We want to add it to our Lander workspace. It's going to pull up everything we need automatically. All right. I will just go ahead and hit Create. So now we have a project, and that is awesome. But we need to set it up, just like we set it up in the last video, and just like you'll need to each and every time. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that Perfect Library OS X is actually linked into the general settings. We can go into our build settings, make sure we have all selected, go down to deployment. We are going to turn on deployment location, yes. We are going to do the installation build products directory as the configuration build beer as a variable that should pull up build debug and build release and that is perfect we're going to install in uh, perfect libraries and then we are not going to skip the install there's a couple more things we'll need to do in here eventually so I'm going to go to our lander we're going to edit that scheme we are going to run the perfect server app. All right, we've got that. Now we need a web page. So if you didn't know, if you go to new file and you're down here in OSX other, um, you can actually just grab an empty file. You can call it index.html, okay, and leave that all default. And then we can say, hello, perfect, super. Go ahead and hit Command Save, or Command S for Save. We can come back up here to our lander. We can go over to our build phases, make sure that index.html got pulled into there. We're going to add a new copy files phase. We're going to copy files to the products directory under web root. That 
should make sense if you've ever used perfect or watched my other videos. We should grab index.html and we should copy that. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the web browser back up here. Good. That looks set, so let's go ahead and give that a little bit of a test. I just hit Command R, you can also hit your lovely run button there. We will see if we didn't make any errors. Fantastic. Build succeeded. I can see on my uh, other screen that that's launching there. Let's just click that and it says hello perfect just like it should. Isn't that wonderful? All right. So I'm going to stop that. Now let's say I actually wanted to develop a website because why not? All right. So I've got a Photoshop file here with a landing page for perfect.org. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of my hello perfect. We're going to do a doc type HTML. We're going to do HTML language, English. I'm used to writing an HTML5, so you'll probably recognize some of this if you've ever built a website. Super. Let's get that header going. Uh, link. We're going to link. Relationship style sheet. It's hypertext reference will be style.css. We haven't added that yet. We will. All right. We will need a title for our website. We'll call it perfect.org since it's in theory a fake landing page for the perfect.org that doesn't exist yet, even though it does. Get the body in here. We will end the body in here. We're going to need a division for content. Whoops, writing CSS already. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Content. We will need an image for the source of. I'm not 100% sure yet. Alt equals. Big bad word. Logo. I am using the logo with the express permission of. Perfectly Soft Ink. They have been gracious enough to allow me to use that for the purpose of this tutorial. And then let's just grab an H1 and we'll say perfect.org is launching soon. Exclamation point. All right, so let's go ahead and add a few more resources here so this will all work. We need a new file again. That is going to be another empty file called style.css. And then I'm going to get into my Photoshop file here. I'm just going to navigate to the perfect logo, quickly export this as a PNG. Now, 570 by 243 is going to come in handy. So I'm going to try and remember that, and I'm going to end up right back here looking it up again. So I've just uh, put the logo out. So I'm just going to drag that into our project. Copy. We're actually going to copy items this time. Okay, we've got our logo in there, so that's going to be perfect logo SVG. So I can go into our index, paste that in there. We've got a style sheet. Super, we are rocking. Now, uh, Xcode will actually partially autocomplete for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is real nice. If I do pound content, and we will need there's an image in there, and we've got an H1 tag. So we will go back over to Safari. I'm going to go over to uh, CSS Gradient, Ultimate CSS Gradient Generator that everybody in the web development industry uses every day. Um, I've got my eyedropper open in Photoshop. That's right over here. You just click anywhere to grab a color. You can copy that right there. Come back over here. We're going to change that. Hit OK. Come back over here. Grab the darker red. Copy that. Come back over here. Change the second color. We've got a nice, whoops, we've got a nice looking gradient right there. Nice looking gradient right there. 
So we can put that under body and we can do with 100% height, 100%, okay. With, this was I believe 570 by 243, which is what I told you to remember earlier. You can always come back to your logo, click export as real quick when it's a smart object like that, and we can 570 by 243. Hey, I got that right. Content, we will do a width of, let's see, if we're going to do the width, how much padding do we want on either side of that? Let's do 30 on either side, so 570 plus 30 is going, plus 60 is actually going to be 630. And then we'll do a height, or we can put 50 pixels on top of it, so we'll do 343. We will do a margin of auto. We will do a padding of top and bottom was 50, left and right was 30. H1, let's turn that color into white. All right, so that should be a roughly good start. You want to come back into the project, go back into your build phases, go back into your bundle resources and copy files, and make sure we're copying everything we need over. Let's give this a little test. I will hit Command R to run. And there we go. So it doesn't look um, quite perfect yet, but you get the idea that you can develop a website completely in Xcode, which is just kind of fun. All right, so there's another way to do this as well. Um, actually, a couple of ways, and, and I'll go, let's go through them right now. So let's go ahead and show these files in Finder in our Lander project, and I'm just going to come over here, grab those two, I'll paste them onto the desktop again, and of course they're going to paste on my other monitor. Why wouldn't they? Okay, and then I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to delete those. I'm going to move them to the trash, because I made copies over here, right? So, my build phases isn't going to copy anything. We really don't need that anymore. All right. All right, so we can actually do now, just go ahead and build this, okay? And if we go over here, it's still going to show a website because it's still in my configuration build directory. But let's see if we can't change that. Let's go ahead and stop the server. We should get a message in here that says exiting server run loop. Let's go ahead and just serve the desktop. Why not? Let's go ahead and start that. And that still says it's got a document root of not document root. All right, let's stop that. And we can go ahead and into our perfect server. All right. And if you go into main HTTP, we should actually be able to change this to tilde desktop and run it. Now oh, it still wants me to go to web root. All right, so let me show you that way. If you go into your workspace settings, you actually have this derived data folder, okay? And deleting from your project doesn't actually delete from your build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up by name just so I can find things named perfect. All right, so this would be perfect lender. No, it would not be. It would be called lender. There it is. All right. So if you look in your build directory, in your products, debug, and there's web root, you can actually see that there are files in there. So let's delete one. Okay, let's delete one, let's make sure this is running, and let's serve that. So that logo is now missing. So if we go back over to Finder, and we delete style.css, 
Now the server's still running, and it's still serving files from this folder, so we can actually um, refresh that, and you'll notice that perfect.org is launching soon. Just like we can put a file in there, and we can put a file in there, and refresh it, and there it is. So well, hosting web content with perfect is real easy. Um, you can do it with a perfect handler, where you just use a handler to print things on the screen. You can do it like I did in this video. In the next video, um, I'm going to start to show you how to do JSON, how to encode and decode that, and how to create a private API for your iOS apps. And we'll create a little private API, and we'll create a little iOS app, and we'll show them interacting together. Uh, thanks for watching. This is again Ryan from ryanmcullens.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.